skill we're going to be working on is our switch 90. It's part of our Yup Step series. We've already done our switch 45 and we've already done our step 90 and now we're going to do our switch 90. So we've already talked a lot about angles. Yup in Korean is side. So these are all of our side steps. Okay, so 90 degrees is what we're talking about. So kind of like a corner of a block. And as we were in our light stance, we're light on our feet, hands are up. Once again, this is for sparring. Our switch 90 is where we're gonna bring our back foot up and our front foot's gonna go directly to the side. So a switch means the feet switch places. A step means one foot moves and it pivots off the other foot, okay? I hope that makes that a little bit clearer for you. Um, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to function. So your body's up, light, balls of your feet, okay? Head over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over ankles, okay? Keeping your chin up. So I'm right here. The back foot's gonna come up and the front foot steps on a 90 degree angle to the side. So now my front vision was here and now my front vision is here. So it changes if I have an opponent switching sides and if they're kicking me, I can block and keep them from making contact to my hobu or even to my head if I'm blocking up high. Okay, so once again, nice and slow, back foot comes up, front foot moves on a 90 degree angle to the side and go back. Once again, back foot comes up and front foot moves on a 90 degree angle to the side and reset. Okay, this is incredibly powerful because it allows me to still be in position to kick. When we did the 45, you're back on an angle here. That's a different angle than if I'm here. And all of those matter when I'm sparring. So I want to be able to adjust for my distance if my opponent is taller than me, shorter than me, longer legs, shorter legs. You will adjust your distance whether you do a step 90, a 45 switch, a 90 switch. All of those give you different distances from your opponent depending upon as he kicks through where he's going. Okay, so nice light on your feet. Let's practice this. Bodies up, light on your feet. We're going to do them simultaneous. So the both feet move at the same time. So you're going to be like, you're right here. Boom, I can block here, block here, whatever I want to do. Because now my opponent's coming at me this way. And reset. Okay, light on my feet and switch. And reset. Okay. You should be practicing. I know you're up on your feet doing this with me, right? Okay, guys, light on your feet and switch. Boom, and back. All right, here we go. Switch and reset. Light on your feet, switch and reset. Light on your feet, switch and reset. A couple more and switch and reset. I'm gonna do a couple more and I want you to do them off the key up, okay? Ready? Hey! Reset. Reset. In fact, let's do three more so we can get our five in. Hey! 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 And switch sides. Okay, back foot comes up. This time your right foot steps back at a 90 degree angle. Target goes from right here. Attacker goes from here to here. Okay? Once again, it's a switch, so both of your feet are going to move. And this time it's a switch 90, so you're gonna switch on that 90 degree angle, and then you're gonna reset, okay? Back foot comes up, front foot moves to the side at a 90 degree, reset. Okay, do it with me, step up, step to the side, change your vision or your focus, reset. Step up, switch to the side, and front foot steps off to the side at a 90 degree, reset your focus. Okay, are you ready to do it a little bit faster? Okay, light on your feet, hut! And back, ready? Reset, hut, and reset, hut, and reset. Let's do about three more. Hut, and reset, hut, and reset. Last one, make it your very best. Hut, and reset. Beautiful. Okay, practice that. Practice it, practice it. Get comfortable. Get good calf muscles by be bouncing, moving around, light on your feet, keeping your shoulders back. Always make sure that. Every move you learn, there's so much to learn in sparring. And this is just a very, very beginning opportunity, but it changes so many things because so many people just back up and move out of the way and then their attacker just keeps chasing them out of the ring. This gives you the breadth of the whole ring and be able to move around and be able to reset and maintain that center control. Keep being awesome, my friends. 
Keep practicing, practice, practice, practice. So here's your next one, practice with intensity. See if you can get those feet moving even faster, okay? Now faster than your master instructor, so get faster and faster. Okay, so let's practice it. Let's do 20 times per side, uh, each time for two weeks, every day. And then as soon as you get that done, I want you to comment below, hashtag did it, with your name and the date. Keep being awesome. If you have questions, just comment down there too. Trip, good game.